from the Mississippi Coast Coliseum and Convention Center in Biloxi, Mississippi. The 10th anniversary of the Miss Teen USA pageant. Starring 50 of the most outstanding teenagers in the USA. With your host, Dick Clark. Co-host, Lisa Gibbons. Special commentator, Miss Teen USA 1990, Bridget Wilson. The reigning Miss Teen USA, Janelle Bishop. And the Mississippi Gulf Coast Teen Orchestra and Chorus. And now, here are the 50 contestants for the title of Miss Teen USA 1992. Dreams, dreams, dreams. Dreams. There are angels around us, and everything we see. Some are real, and some are fantasy. Gentlemen, your host, Dick Clark. Thank you, ladies, very much. Thank you. You are terrific, and may all of your dreams come true. Thank you so much. It's lovely to be here. You know, at least one dream will come true here tonight on this stage. That's when we crown the new Miss Teen USA. We're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the pageant this evening. And there's certainly no better place to throw a party with 50 teenagers than right here in the fun and the sun of Mississippi Beach, right? All right. Thank you for inviting us back for the third year. Now, as you know, in all seriousness, Hurricane Andrew is heading for the Gulf Coast, and we want to assure you that we have plans for taking care of everybody. We're all safe and sound and all is well. Meanwhile, the show must go on, and to help me host the celebration, from entertainment tonight, please welcome Miss Lisa Gibbons. Looking good, ladies. Hello, Dick. Good evening, everyone. Looking good. There is so much energy in the air right here. Tell Not me. only do we have the hurricane, but this is the 10th anniversary of Miss Teen USA. And to celebrate this particular anniversary, what we did, we went back into the vault and we got a clip. This is really choice. This is the very first Miss Teen USA Ruth Zakarian being crowned. Miss Teen USA is Miss New York Ruth Zakarian. Isn't that a wonderful piece of tape? I love the it. nerves. I love it. Well, Ruth became an actress. She took the professional name of Devin Pierce, and we're happy to say that she's here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, please greet the very first Miss Teen USA, Devin Pierce. Oh. A couple of years have agreed with her real well. I would say so. We'll see you a little bit later on, Devin. And uh, you have another Miss Teenage USA right up there in the booth with you. Yes, that's right. Bridget Wilson, Miss Teen USA 1990, who won her crown on this very stage a couple of years ago, will be with me. She knows exactly what these girls are going through tonight. Well, as usual, you two are going to get all of the backstage stories on all of these ladies, true? That is it. Inside stuff. That's our business. We will see you with uh, Miss Teen up there a little bit later on. Are you ready to go? Dreams must be made. Tonight. I'm ready. Good luck, everyone. Dick, I'll see you later on. Thank you, ma'am. Lisa Gibbons, ladies and gentlemen.
Now, the competition here in the Miss Teen USA pageant actually began last week when our panel of judges scored the contestants in three preliminary events. The swimsuit competition in which the girls model suits by Catalina. The evening gown competition where the ladies wore gowns of their own choice. And the interview competition where each judge talked individually with every contestant. Now, the scores from these three events carry equal weight in determining our 12 semifinalists, and you'll see those scores now in our Parade of States, along with a reminder of how the contestants looked in the preliminary competitions. And now, here are the 50 contestants for the title of Miss Teen USA 1992. Let's meet them all, region by region and state by state, and we begin with the contestants from the Southwest. Here is Miss Arizona. I know from the Grand Canyon state of Arizona. From Chandler, I am Heather Keckler. Miss Utah. I'm representing the state with the greatest snow on earth. From Sandy, Utah, I'm Susan Kelly. Miss Hawaii. Aloha, everyone. From Mililani on the Paradise Islands of Hawaii, I'm Kanye Picasso. Miss Texas. I hail from the great Lone Star State of Texas. From Columbus, my name is Carissa Blair. Miss Nevada. From Las Vegas, Nevada, the odds on favorite of vacationers everywhere, I am Jennifer Gossman. Miss Colorado. I hail from Littleton in the Rocky Mountain state of Colorado. I'm Brandy Bryant. Miss New Mexico. My desert home is a land of enchantment. From Denny, New Mexico, I'm Hillary Mackin. Miss California. From Los Angeles, California, where movie magic can make all your dreams come true. Hi, I'm Natasha Allen. Contestants from the Northeast, Miss Connecticut. From New Milford in the Nutmeg State of Connecticut, I'm Tiffany Sullivan. Miss Delaware. Delaware, the first state of liberty from the capital city of Dover, I'm Justine Jones. Miss Rhode Island. From Barrington on the beautiful shores of the ocean state of Rhode Island, I am Shana Mobler. Miss Pennsylvania. Hello, I'm representing Pennsylvania, a state for all seasons. From Burndale, I'm Tara Lavin. Miss Maine. Maine, vacation jewel of New England. That's my home. From Benton, I'm Angela Lee Walker. Miss Massachusetts. Sensational Cape Cod is my home. From Sagamore Beach, Massachusetts, I am Victoria Grinder. Miss New Jersey. Representing the beautiful garden state of New Jersey from Halden, my name is Lori Lynn Schmidt. Miss New York. From Niagara Falls to New York City, I love New York. From Rochester, my name is Amber Evans. Miss New Hampshire. Live for your die. That's our motto. From Dorm, New Hampshire, I'm Angela Etter. Miss Vermont. Colorful Vermont, where the fall is spectacular and the skiing's even better. From Milton, I'm Lisa Roby. And now, the contestants from the South. Miss Arkansas. From Sheridan, Arkansas, the land of hot springs and bright bags. I'm Stacey Freeman. Miss Oklahoma. A boomer suitor through and through. From Tunnel, Oklahoma, Miss Florida. A tropical heaven right here on earth. That's my home. From La Canto, Florida, I'm Jennifer Sutter. Miss Tennessee. I'm representing the Volunteer State. From Carthage, Tennessee, I'm Angela Shoulders. Miss Virginia. I'm from the Old Dominion State of Virginia, birthplace of eight presidents. From York County, I'm Andrea Dallinge. Miss West Virginia. From Ripley, West Virginia, where mountaineers are always free. Hi, I'm Kelly Humphrey. Miss Alabama. From Brownville, Alabama, where the heart of Dixie still beats proudly. Hello, I'm Christine King. Miss Kentucky. Putting a smile, Kentucky home from the blue grass land of fast horses, I am Heather Boggess. Miss North Carolina. I'm Tar Heel born and I'm Tar Heel bred. From Conover, North Carolina, I'm Rachel Adcock. Miss Georgia. I represent Georgia, host to the world in the 1996 Summer Olympics. From Conyers, I'm Christy Harmon. Miss Maryland. Sportsman's Paradise. From Sulphur, Louisiana, I'm Evelyn Ellis. Miss South Carolina. From Lexington, in the land of the beautiful Palmetto State. Representing South Carolina, I am Shannon Pillar. Miss Mississippi. From beautiful Tupelo, Mississippi, from the birthplace of Elvis, I'm Marley McDonald. And now the contestants from the Midwest, Miss Michigan. From Darien Springs, in the great 
Miss Indiana. Monster Indiana is my hometown. From Hoosier Country, my name's Nicole Llewellyn. Miss Illinois. From Hawkins State, Illinois, the land of Lincoln and championship basketball, I'm Julie Klesman. Miss Nebraska. Representing the great Cornhusker State from Wallace, Nebraska, I'm Marnie Monk. Miss Iowa. From Altoona, Iowa, the state with the heart and the heartland of America, I am Jamie Solinger. Miss Wisconsin. I'm proud to be representing the great Badger State of Wisconsin. From Stevens Point, I am Trina Lindo. Miss Kansas. From Tonganoxie, Kansas, where people still like to bleed, there's no place like home, I am Danielle Boatwright. Miss Ohio. I'm here representing the great Buckeye State of Ohio. From Hillsborough, I'm Tiffany Chase. Miss Missouri. From Wilbur, Missouri, the beautiful Show Me State of the Gateway Wind, I'm Robin Slade. Miss North Dakota. Miss Minnesota. Minnesota land of 10,000 lakes and the best baseball on earth. From Lake Hubert, I'm Elizabeth Peters. Miss South Dakota. South Dakota, the land of the beautiful Black Hills and Mount Rushmore. From Rapid City, my name is Brandy Bauer. The contestants from the Northwest, Miss Alaska. I'm representing the home of the last frontier. From Fairbanks, Alaska, I'm Cindy Bridges. Miss Oregon. From Portland, Oregon. Miss Montana. Big Sky Country is my home. From Missoula, Montana, I am Aubrey Jo Hiller. Miss Washington. From East Wenatchee, Washington, the state that's got it all, I am Haley Kristen O'Kelly. Miss Idaho. Rodeo Country is where I hang my hat. From Caldwell, Idaho, I am Amanda Greenway. Miss Wyoming. From majestic mountains to wide open spaces, Wyoming's my home. From Lingle, I am Donnie Bowman. We'll be back to reveal the 12 semifinalists. And welcome back to our show from Mississippi Beach. This is our anchor booth position tonight. And to help me keep an eye on all the action, I'd like to welcome someone who was Miss Teen USA 1990, Bridget Wilson. Hi, Bridget. We're going to have a great time up here, so I'm looking forward to it. You gave up your crown on this stage just last summer, and since then you've become a regular on Santa Barbara? Yes, I get to play the naughty girl, Lisa Fenmore. <laughs> How much fun is that? And she is bad. She's pretty bad. <laughs> now, you've launched this whole career, Bridget, and you're still a teenager. Yes, I'm 18. 18. That makes you a real expert on tonight's contestants. And I know that you've been here for the past couple of weeks and you've been interviewing all of the girls. Every single one of them. Who do you think are the leading contenders right now, Bridget? Um, okay, I'll have to go with Miss Tennessee. I just think she's a doll. She just really sparkles when she speaks. There's a lot of life in her. Yes. Um, I also like Miss Kansas. She's young yet very mature, so she's very together. So I think mm -hmm. she's one to watch. And Miss Oklahoma, because she's got this fairy tale princess quality. When she walks on stage, you know, everyone just looks at her. So. Yeah, ah, oh, that's yeah, sort of Exactly. Yes. While we're dishing up here, we want you to know that the contestants and judges can't hear what we are saying in the anchor booth. That way it won't influence the scoring or make the contestants nervous. Good enough. Right now, let's look at the top scores in the preliminary competitions, which have been going on for the past week. As we turn to the monitor, we see in swimsuits, Miss Kansas is leading, followed by Miss Rhode Island. Interview competition, Iowa is out in front. And look at her. She's really competing strongly. Iowa is leading an evening gown competition again. This is going to be a very good race. I know that you've been polling the girls behind the scenes. Who do they think has a shot at the crown? Actually, their top two picks were Miss California and Miss Kansas. So, All right, we're going to find see. out if the girls are right, because Dick is on stage right now, and he's just about ready to reveal the 12 semifinalists. We have uh, 50 anxious young ladies here because only 12 will continue in our competition as semifinalists. Later on, we'll choose six finalists and then narrow the field right down to three before choosing our winner. So if I may uh, have these results, thank you very much. Each contestant's scores in the preliminary swimsuit interview and evening gown competition have been added and averaged for a composite score. 
You'll see that composite score on your screen as he comes forward. And uh, ladies, I will read these 12 names in random order. Good luck to all. You're all terrific. Semi-finalists are Miss Virginia. Okay, this is no surprise because Andrea has been in gymnastics for years. She is a real competitor. Miss Illinois. Yes, and you know Illinois has a very strong state pageant system and their contestants are always very well prepared. Julie is no exception. Miss North Carolina. North Carolina, we thought Rachel would be up there. Didn't she win Miss Photogenic? Well, I guess you would expect to find her there. <laughs> exactly. Miss Iowa. Jamie worked at a fast food chain and some pageant contestants saw her there and told her she should give it a try. And now here she is with the top score in both preliminary evening gown and interview competitions. Miss Marilyn. Now here's a great story. Vanessa sprained her ankle in rehearsal Saturday night. She sprained it again in a fire drill on Sunday. And then she was on crutches all day yesterday. There she is, looking good. Miss Oklahoma. I am telling you, Oklahoma always does well. They've had one winner, and they usually always make the semifinals. Plus, Angels also had a lot of coaches, so she came very well prepared. We have six to go, one of whom is Miss California. Well, Natasha's parents were both born in Finland. This young lady, look at her, definitely a Scandinavian beauty. Absolutely. Miss Alabama. Now listen to this. Christine has been in pageants since she was 14 and says she has won 95% of them. So we'll see if her statistics improve tonight. Miss Indiana. You know, Nicole was first spotted by modeling agents when she was just eight. I'd say she'd be one to keep an eye on, Bridget. Definitely. Three remain. Miss Rhode Island. Okay, here's another one who's already been working as a print model. So uh, Shayna is definitely one to watch for. Two more. Miss Mississippi. To this audience go wild for the home state girl. Now Arlene told us that every pageant she's ever been in, she's either won or been first runner up. That average will see if that streak holds tonight. And Miss Kansas. Lisa Danielle's one of the three girls the other contestants said had the best chance of winning. So far, they're right. Ladies and gentlemen, the 12 semifinalists for the title of Miss Teen USA 1992. Okay, we are on our way. You can tell there's a contingent here from every state to cheer on the contestants. A lot of excitement. At this point, the composite scores you saw are eliminated. Those 12 semifinalists start from zero for tonight's competition. And you'll see every bit of the live competition that the judges see in order to choose a winner. That competition is about to start now with the swimsuits. Uh-oh. Bridget, any 9999s out there? Well, let's see. I think Miss Rhode Island is definitely one to watch. Modeling agencies are already interested in her. And Miss Virginia, she has a great figure. They all have great figures. Do you think that today's contestants are more concerned about fitness than they were maybe 10 years ago when the pageant started? Concerned? Are they obsessed? <laughs> Concessed is a better word. You would not believe how some of them work out. Miss Kansas runs and lifts weights four hours every single day. Oh, gosh. Can't believe it. And she's also had the contestants running up and down eight flights of steps to keep them in shape. At the hotel? At the hotel. That's that thunderous noise that I was <laughs> hearing. Well, you know, I guess it worked because, remember, the judges did give her, Miss Kansas, the highest score in our preliminary swimsuit competition. Yes. And speaking of competition, it is a lot of fun. And if you're between the ages of 16 and 26 and would like to enter either the Miss Teen USA or Miss USA state pageants, watch for a special 800 number at the end of the show. Give us a call and we'll send out all the necessary information to you. Meanwhile, stay tuned. We'll have the swimsuit competition and some fun on Mississippi Beach right after this.
Sitting here in front of me this evening is a group of very important and accomplished people. They are the judges who will decide which young lady will have her dream come true tonight when she becomes the new Miss Teen USA, and I'd like to introduce them to you. Now, audience, if you will, please hold your applause until the end. Our first judge's career spans uh, stage, screen, television, best known to millions as Catherine Chancellor on TV's Young and the Restless. She is six-time Emmy nominee and human rights activist Gene Cooper, internationally renowned hairstylist with his own line of hair and skin products. He's worked with celebrities from Gloria Stefan to the First Lady Barbara Bush. He is Sammy. International audiences see her daily as co-anchor of CNN's live entertainment news program, Showbiz Today. She's ace award winner Lauren Sidney. In 1984, she and her brother skated their way to Olympic silver. She's now a coach and a professional skater who thrills audiences around the world with her grace and style. She's Kitty Carruthers. The other half of the skating Carruthers, uh, he spends his time off the ice as a skating analyst for TBS and as chairperson for the National Committee for Adoption. He's Peter Carruthers. He's been making audiences laugh since his starring role in the hit series Too Close for Comfort. A regular square on the Hollywood squares, he's funny man Jim J. Bullock. She began her broadcasting career right here in Mississippi. Just back from covering the Olympics, she is ESPN sports anchor and host of Sunday Sports Day, Robin Roberts. Comedian, television personality, and producer, this multi-talented young man is seen each week as the host of Family Double Dare and What Would You Do? He's Mark Summers. And our first Miss Teen USA appeared as the sultry vixen Diane on The Young and the Restless and has guested on hits such as The Wonder Year. She's actress Devin Pierce. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our judges. I'd like to explain our, explain our scoring system, which is similar to the Olympics. As each contestant competes tonight, our judges here enter a score ranging from a 1.0 to a high of a 9.99 into their computer terminals. You'll see the judges' names and scores on the screen. Then the highest and lowest are averaged like this. Each contestant's average scores in the swimsuit interview and evening gown competition are added, and the top six composite scores will determine the six finalists. Well, I think the competition is about to begin. So let's go back to the stage. Thank you, Bridget. You know, every teenager dreams of spending the summer in a great place like the Mississippi Beach, and our contestants are certainly no exception. As our semi-finalist models used by Federico Leone in the Catalina Swimsuit Competition, we've asked each young lady to tell us a little bit more about herself, and we begin with Miss Virginia. Well, whenever I was little, um, I always said I wanted to be in the circus. And so I started out wanting to be a circus performer, but now I want to go to law school. So after I get my undergraduate, I think I want to go to trot for Broadway and then go, and go to Duke and get my law degree. So I guess if I can't be a circus performer, maybe I can represent them. Miss Illinois. I use my brothers to stay in shape because we go running and rock climbing and we body build together. And I also bake a lot of desserts and they usually eat them all before I get a chance to have any. <laughs> Miss North Carolina. I was a tomboy when I was growing up and one Christmas morning I thought a baby carriage was wrapped under the tree for me and I was very disappointed because I was not one that wanted a baby carriage. And much to my surprise, a shiny new flower power big wheel was under the tree for me and I was very excited. Miss Iowa. While I was growing up, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents. We'd go canoeing and hiking and run through the forest. And we'd go into the woods and pick out maple trees and tap them and get homemade maple syrup for our breakfast this morning. So now I can walk through the forest my, with my friends and be able to say, I know that tree and I know those flowers and there is so really nice. Miss Marilyn. Hopefully in 10 years, I'll be living in my fantasy house. It's a glass house on a cliff. And I'll have my big black panther that I've wanted ever since I was six years old. And hopefully by then I'll be a criminal lawyer for the FBI. Miss Oklahoma. I enjoy lifting weights. I also do a lot of aerobics. And for the last four years, I've been a cheerleader, so that's helped me stay in shape a lot.
Miss California. One of the things I remember most about this pageant is hearing the different slang words from all the other girls. I remember hearing one of the southern girls refer to happiness as being in hog heaven. And coming from California, we would say something like totally awesome. Miss Alabama. I want to be a children's author and write children's books. I hope that I can be as famous as Theodore Gristle. Everyone knows him as Dr. Seuss. Uh, his, I want everyone to remember my story like you remember Green Eggs and Ham. Miss Indiana. I grew up in a very small town and everyone knows everyone so it's like one great big family and whenever you go to a store hi Nicole how are you so it's it's a great feeling ha having known people all your life and really getting to know them Miss Rhode Island my family is absolutely wonderful um, they support, we, we really support each other in everything we do. Um, I can feel just as confident going to my brothers as I can to my father or my mother, and I love them to death. Miss Mississippi. We have a very close family. We like to share time with each other, and once a week we do that by having supper, lots of good country cooking, and we share the things that have happened with ourselves during the past week. Miss Kansas. Well, I grew up in Tongadoxy all my life, Tongadoxy, Kansas. And we only have 2,000 people in the community, and we've just gotten our first stoplight two weeks ago which is a really big deal. Everybody from all the towns around came down to see our stoplight because they haven't gotten one yet. Beautiful ladies, and that completes our swimsuit competition for Miss Teen USA 1992. Okay, reality check. Hey, they're only 24 hours in a day. If I worked out, every one of them, I still wouldn't look like that. Aren't they incredible? All right, let's take a look now. Let's see what the judges thought. Okay, they have put Miss California out in front in the swimsuit competition. Iowa is still doing well. She's second place here in swimsuits, followed by Oklahoma. Look how close it is between Oklahoma and Kansas. And everybody scored really well. Swimsuit competition, that's how they lined up tonight. Catalina will award the winner, Miss California, either a cash prize of $1,000 or a photo modeling contract worth $2,500. And we want you to know that the contestants look just as great as in those swimsuits when they're splashing around in the water. So let's join in for some fun Mississippi Beach style.
much. Great way to end a summer vacation. All right, the interview competition, as we said, is coming up next. Bridget, we've mentioned that you have talked to each and every one of these girls. Who do you think is going to stand out and do well? Um, I think Miss California is going to do very well. She's an A student. She's a great talker. Um, she is. I'm also interested to see how Miss Marilyn does. She said she has a tendency to talk too fast, so her coach told her to recite the alphabet slowly. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, that's an interesting technique. Yeah. Can't you see her backstage now slowly going through that ABC <laughs> exactly, thing? Exactly. Probably. <laughs> but we should also watch for Miss Iowa, who had the top score in the preliminary competition. And she was also advised by a fellow Iowan, Carol Morris, who was a former Miss Universe. She's already competing strongly, so that advice must be paying off. These interviews are unrehearsed. Anything can happen, so stay tuned. The 1992 Miss Teen USA pageant will continue. We'll be right back! Welcome back as we continue our competition with the interviews. Now, the young woman who wears the Miss Teen USA crown is not only a role model for other teenagers, she'll meet an awful lot of people and talk with them during her reign, so it's very important for the judges to know something about her communication skills. Now these interviews are spontaneous, they're unrehearsed, and the contestants are judged on poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of their answers. We'll begin with Miss Virginia, who's Andrea Balangi, 19 years old from Yorktown. She's a student at Virginia Tech, an award-winning gymnast. She enjoys ballet and snorkeling. Did your dad, I read somewhere, fly combat missions uh, during the Gulf War thing? Yes, sir, he did, and that was, I think, probably one of the most difficult times of my life. I would imagine so. Were you uh, what they call an Army brat as a kid when you were growing up? No, I was an Air Force brat, and believe it or not, it was a big culture shock whenever I moved to Royal Virginia. What, what, why? How so? Well, whenever we moved there, my family and I decided we'd go to the state fair to get culturally enriched. And I walked into a bar and I didn't like the way it smelled, so I held my nose, first of all. And I saw these cows everywhere and they looked all pretty and I'm real inquisitive. So I walked up to a man and he was wearing some overalls and he had something hanging out of his mouth and a straw hat on. And I said, well, sir, what's going on? And he said, we're having a cow show. And I wasn't really sure what that was. And he said, well, it's when we clean up the cow all nice and good and we make them look real pretty. We take them out one at a time and the best one wins. And I said, because I like to use metaphors a lot, I said, so you mean it's sort of like a cow pageant? And he goes, well, yes, ma'am, but I don't think my cow really won a crown. <laughs> Where had you come from then? Where, what was your previous home? Cocoa Beach, Florida. So I guess I went from the beach to the farm. What are the advantages of being a, a child of the Army? Well, I think that um, it's made me a really strong person, and I can meet people real easily, and I guess... Whenever somebody asks me where home is, I guess it's wherever I hang my hat. And whenever I wake up at night, I just have to pray that I know where the closet is and it's not the kitchen door or something like that. Thank you very much. Please step over here for the judges, if you will, please. This is Miss Virginia, Andrea Ballinger. Next is Miss Illinois, Julie Kleffman. She's 18. She likes to rock climb, bodybuilding, does water skiing. She's a, a presidential scholar at Ball State University, isn't it? Ball State, isn't it David Letterman's alma mater? Yes, it is. All right, now you, you live in a place called the Wellness Dorm. Now, I don't know what that means, so please explain it. Well, it's a smoke-free, alcohol-free, and drug-free environment. And in the bottom, they have a workout area, so you can keep in shape. And we have good food, better than other dorms. Now, like so many of the ladies in this pageant, you've won an awful lot of awards for all different sort of things. But again, I made a note, the Right Stuff Award, what is that? That I won at Space Camp, and I went there when I was 15 and 16, and it's given for personality and enthusiasm and responsibility, and I won it two years in a row, so I was very, very, very proud of that. Well, you're a little bit into outer space. A lot of people say we spend too much money out there. Do you agree or disagree? I disagree, because I think it's fascinating to be able to go out of the atmosphere and into another world, and I would go if they asked me. <laughs> I th I'm not going to ask you to go that far. If you just step over there, please, uh, for the judges. This is Miss Illinois, Julie Kleffman. Next is Miss North Carolina, Rachel Adcock. She's 17. She's a high school senior, made straight A's last year. And the press photographer here at the event, the photographers voted her Miss Photogenic. But when you were growing up, you had uh, braces, you were skinny. Of course. Um, I had a lot of nicknames when I was young. Well, for instance? Brace face, metal mouth, iron jaws, um, bird legs, chicken legs, tree, you name it. <laughs> All right, now do me a favor, slide over just a okay. little bit here, they got a better shot of it. Since you are Miss Photogenic, we'll get a good shot. Now, if you were raised that way with all of those terrible things people called you, what do you say to young girls who have the same problem now? 
I just say, I look at them and I say, well, you're not finished yet. God's not finished with you yet. And when you get older, you will change, just like I did. And I feel that I have grown into a mature young lady and that they will too. And all you have to do is think about the good things in life and go with that because you end up, end up a winner. That's good, solid advice. If you will, please step over here and hold for a moment. That's Miss North Carolina, Rachel Adcock. Next is Miss Iowa, Jamie Solinger, and she's uh, 17 from Altoona. She likes uh, flower arranging, working on cars. She's a high school senior with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Boy, what do you plan to do after high school? Definitely go to college and be a landscape architect. What does that, what does that entail? What do you do? Um, I'll be drawing like golf courses and swimming pools and basically working with the things I love like drawing and biology science flowers digging now, in the dirt. <laughs> I am also told that you like to work on cars. Is oh, that yeah. was that good information? Um, I love to work on cars. My dad got me started when I was young. He could um, you know, take me outside and have me help him change the oil and and then from taking driver's ed I got all the more interested and now I like to change the oil every once in a while and Are you good at it? Eh, kind of messy. <laughs> Have you ever dismantled anything and not been able to get it back together again? One of my Barbie doll houses, um, I totally took it apart and jammed all the pieces back together thinking I could get it back together, you know, and back to normal. And as a matter of fact, it came out to be a Barbie doll jungle gym instead of a house. <laughs> so you learn from that experience. If you yeah. will, please step over here for the judges. This is Miss Iowa, Jamie Solinger. Coming up is Miss Marilyn, Vanessa Molina. She's 18 from Baltimore, enjoys mountain biking. Last year she, she managed the boys varsity lacrosse team. You were the guy's manager? Yes, I was. There are 28 of the most wonderful men I've ever met before in my life. Now, this is a pretty dumb question, but is a lacrosse team a likely area for uh, finding a good date? It's more on the lines of being your best friend. We're always there for each other, and we would just be, you know, always hanging out and being there and taking care of each other. We always talk to each other about our problems, and they feel they can come to me because, you know, I'm a girl, and they need somebody to get advice from, so I'm there for them. Interesting experience. All right, tell me a little bit about your graduation plans. When you got out of school, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to first to a community college. I don't want to start off at university right away because I like the individual one-on-one -on -one teaching. And when, certainly when you go to a university, you're more considered a number. Mm -hmm. So I want people to know me for my intellect and who I am. What do you hope to do eventually? Become a criminal lawyer for the FBI. Much good luck in that endeavor. Right. Step over here for the judges, if you will. This is Miss Merrill and Vanessa Molinas. <laughs> right, this is Miss Oklahoma. Angela Logan, she's 17 from Tuttle. She's a junior in their high school there in the fall. Uh, she will be the junior. Enjoys gymnastics. You were a recipient of an $18,000 scholarship. Now, I am not familiar with Tuttle. Give me a little description. Well, it's the best place in the whole wide world. Wait a minute. Is this where you said they just got the new stoplight? Yeah. <laughs> is that the big event in town? Well, we've only got one stoplight. We've got one grocery store. We've got one snow cone stand, which I work at. Yeah. How many people? 3,000 people. And your grandfather, what does he do there? He's a police officer. Yeah. He, actually, he's police chief. And he's also a minister in a church. It's an interesting combination. You can arrest him and then pray for him along the way. All right. Uh, what have you learned about uh, your grandparents who have been married how many years? Over 40. What have you learned from them about marriage? Well, they always say, don't just get married to the one that you think you can live with, but wait for the one that you can't live without. I, I want to hear a song you wrote about Oklahoma, but there's not enough time. Could you give me one line of your song about Oklahoma? Could you start it off? Oh, that's hard. Uh, I, won't, I won't do that to you. They told me you got to hear her sing. Afterwards, I'll hear you sing. I'll do it. Thank you very much. Please step over here. This is Miss Oklahoma. This is Angela Logan. Thank you, ladies. That completes our first six interviews. Dick mentioned that Miss Teen USA is a role model. I think you can see why. Pretty hard to stump those girls. They did really well. Bridget is backstage with the contestants, so let's see what's going on with her. Hey, Bridget. Hello, Lisa. I am here with Miss Virginia, Andrea Ballingy. A cow pageant? <laughs> so I heard that you entered this pageant on a bet with your brother? 
I sure did. I bet him that he wouldn't be able to graduate from college, and he bet me that I wouldn't be able to win a beauty pageant. And here I am, and he's still in school, so good for you. <laughs> okay, so how do you think you did? Um, I don't know how I did, because I don't really remember what I said. I think about lost it after I was in top ten, but it feels a lot better now. Okay, well, good luck to you, and I'm going to move on to Miss Iowa, Jamie Solinger. Okay, a pageant mechanic. <laughs> Close enough. So how do you think you did? Um, I think I did all right. Um, I'm really happy with my answer because it's all totally me, and I think as long as I'm me, I'll be happy with whatever I say. Good for you. I think that's a great way to think. Good luck. Okay, so as you can feel the excitement backstage, Lisa, the rest of the semifinalists have just come from the dressing room, and they're ready to go on, so I'll pass it back to you. All right, Bridget, you tell them to take a deep breath, and we're going to take a quick break now. The semifinal interviews continue in just a moment after this word from CoverGirl, the official cosmetic of the 1992 Miss Teen USA pageant. Our semifinal interview competition continues now, and next let's talk with Miss California. She is Natasha Alice. Of, let's see, she's 18 years old. She enjoys bungee jumping, has a scholarship to USC this fall, plans to major in psychology, communications, political science. You're going to be very busy with all that education. Yes, I will be. What do you plan to do eventually? Become a political journalist and eventually have my own talk, political talk show. All right, let's, let's take a for instance. Suppose you were that right now and you had uh, President Bush on. What would you ask him? I have a lot of things to ask President Bush. One would be why he's not making education a, a more of an issue in the election campaign this year, because I think that it should be the biggest priority above all other issues that are being brought up. All right, let's give equal time. You've got Governor Clinton on. What would you ask him? The same exact thing, because I don't think either one of them have pressed it enough. So you'd get equal time and just be equally difficult with each of them. Would you ever become a candidate yourself? Would you get into the political world? Um, I'm not sure about that. I, I am a strong supporter of reporting to other people and letting the American public know what's going on in politics, so I don't think I would really be in the spotlight, just reporting. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Would you step over here for the judges? This is Miss California, Natasha Ellis. All right, next is Miss Alabama. This is Christine King. She's 18 from Prattville. She enjoys writing, sketching, puppeteering, attending college this fall on a scholarship, and hopes to write children's books someday. What got you interested in, in writing children's books? When I used to babysit a little girl, I wrote her story. I told her stories at night from my head. A friend of mine heard me talking about them and said, why don't you write this down, Chris? And so I did. Is there anything different about writing for children than there is for adults, as far as you know? Yes, there's definitely. Although some adults need to read some good children's books. Well, no, no. Get, let me get to that in a half a second. What is the most memorable children's story you ever heard? Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. My favorite. Everybody in this room can recite that story. You said parents. What can we do to get parents more interested in their children's reading materials? I think it's really important that you read to your kids. And even though, you know, they may not understand that what you're reading those letters is what you're saying they'll understand about stories they'll use their imaginations more and just the special time that you spend with your kids is really good thank you very much please step over here for the judges this is miss alabama christine king all right coming up we've got miss indiana nicole llewellyn who's 17 She's a senior in high school. She enjoys dancing, swimming, working out, and uh, after high school, I am told you're going to study marine biology. I mean, how does this come about? Is that true, first of all? Yes, it is true. I mean, how does somebody from Iowa, Indiana, where are, let's say Indiana, I've switched states on you, but I mean, that's a little odd, marine biology in Indiana, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, I got interested in it when I took a class my junior year, and they took us on a 30-hour bus trip to the Florida Keys to snorkel. Did you go under the water, just hang on the top? Yes, I did. I did something that I wouldn't normally do. I held on to a shark underwater and got pulled around. <laughs> uh, you'll tell me about that later. I wouldn't normally do that either. Let me switch to a pleasanter subject. Have you, have you had a good time at Mississippi Beach? Oh, I've loved every minute of it. How about Southern cooking? It's great. Have you got a favorite yet, or are they all appealing? They're all appealing to me. Well, I wish you good luck, hope you return, and thank you so much. Thank you. Miss Indiana, if you'd step over here for the judges, this is Nicole Llewellyn. Here's Miss Rhode Island. Shana Mokler, 17 years of age, a senior at Barrington High School. She's a certified scuba diver, has worn 
30 medals in competitive roller skating. I mean, you've got to have a pretty rigorous training schedule to do that, don't you? Yeah. How many hours a day? Well, in the beginning of the season, we work for about three days a week for about five hours. And then when the season really starts going in, we work for about seven days a week for about five hours. Five hours? Are we talking roller skating or roller blading? Roller skating. Is that harder or uh, easier than the other? They're about the same. I'm used to balancing on four wheels, not on just a blade, but it's, it's very much. Don't you ever get sick of this? Wouldn't you like to just hang out or watch TV someday or be with your friends? No, I love it. It's my life, and... It's, it's just my life. All right, I am told that you have, and every woman in the world wants to hear this, a five-point program for meeting the right guy. Give it to me right now. <laughs> okay, my brother Kirk and I have a, a little system which we use to find the perfect me. And mine is, one, he has to have a good personality. That comes. Two, he has to love animals because I'm going to have a household full of them. Three, he has to be into his body like he likes to weight lift. Four, um, what was the fourth one? Oh, you are in deep trouble. No, no, no. Um, the fourth one was, uh, oh, he has to get along with my parents. And five, <laughs> and five, he has to have a great cologne, because I love cologne. So. Cologne. Notice you remembered the cologne and forgot getting along with mom and dad. Step over here, if you will, please. This is Miss Rhode Island, Shana Mochler. <laughs> Next is Miss Mississippi. Arlene McDonald, 17 years old, from Tupelo. She's a senior this fall, enjoys singing, dancing, and fishing. Got to talk to you about fish. What is the biggest fish you've ever caught? I haven't caught a very big one. I really haven't. No? I think about a three-pound catfish, maybe. What do you use for bait? We use all kinds of things for bait. We use worms and crickets and liver. No wonder you're not catching any fish. No, I don't, I don't know that much about them. What do you plan to do after high school? Well, I hope to attend the University of Mississippi, and I'd like to go to medical school to become a neonatologist. You will have to tell most of us in the audience what that is. That's a doctor who specializes in premature and newborn babies. Now, the one thing I know about it is you will be about, what, 30, 33 years of age when you graduate? Exactly. Does that concern you in terms of marriage plans, if you have any? No, sir. I think that if marriage comes before then, that he'll support me in sticking it out through medical school. I'm sure he will. Thank you so much. Miss Mississippi, if you'd step over there for the judges, this is Arlene McDonald. And here's Miss Kansas, Daniel Boatwright, 17 years of age, senior in high school this fall, enjoys running track. This woman has won over 70 medals in sports. And uh, is your family here to cheer you on? Oh, yes. I have all my family here from Tonganoxie, Kansas. From where? Tonganoxie. How do you spell it? T-O-N-G-A-N-O-X-I-E. We'll have a test later, folks. You'll remember that. Your grandma here? Um, well, my grandmother got scared of the hurricane, so she left and went All right. home. Well, see, aged people are a lot smarter than some of the others of us here. Um, she is a handwriting analyst, however. Yes, she is a handwriting analyst. Let me read you what she wrote about you. She says, you are strong-willed, a perfectionist, and not satisfied till she gets to the top. Is your grandma accurate? Oh, yes, my grandmother is very accurate. She also did my state directors. She read their handwriting? What'd she yes. say? Yes. Well, she said that they're about the same as I am. They're, they can be very strong-willed, and they're very determined. All right, very quickly, I heard you do a, a sample play-by-play. -play. You want to be a sportscaster. Okay. Give me a sample of your dream sportscast. Okay, my dream sportscast is when Kansas Jayhawks are playing the Boomer Sooners from Oklahoma in the final game of the NCAA tournament, and there's three seconds left in the game, and the Boomer Sooners are up by two. Go. Okay. Scott into Woodbury. Woodbury to Walters. Walters on the three-point line. It's good. The Hawks win and send those Boomer Sooners back to Oklahoma. Get over there. This is Miss Kansas. This is Danielle Boatwright. <laughs> Thank you all, ladies. That completes our interview competition for Miss Teen USA 1992. Now that Miss Kansas has got us all excited here, as Bridget mentioned to you earlier, we use Olympic scoring. The highest and the lowest scores are eliminated. Just to see if you've been paying attention, did you notice that the skating Carruthers are frequently canceling each other out? Just something fun to watch with the scoring tonight. Let's recap the scores and see what the judges thought about the girls in interview. Well, there she is, Miss Iowa. She is really doing it tonight. She is first. Kansas, who was adorable to watch, is in second place, followed by Miss California. We told you to look out for her in interview. Very strong talker. And here's how the rest of our contestants fared for the interview competition scoring tonight.
That does complete two-thirds of the semifinals, but you'll see the evening gown competition coming up real soon.